On the 6th of August 1945, 140,000 people were killed outright or later died after the first uranium bomb was detonated over the Japanese city of Hiroshima. More than 70,000 died when a plutonium bomb was detonated over Nagasaki three days later. Today, 73 years after those terrible events, people around the world are once again marking these dates and vowing it will never happen again. In 2017, the International Campaign for the Abolition of Nuclear Weapons, which formed in Melbourne in 2006, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in recognition of its campaign to achieve an international treaty for the prohibition of nuclear weapons. On the 7th of July 2017, 122 nations, excluding Australia, almost two-thirds of the UN membership voted to adopt the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. Once it enters into force, the treaty will pro prohibit nations from developing, testing, producing, manufacturing, transferring, possessing, stockpiling, using or threatening to use nuclear weapons or allowing nuclear weapons to be stationed on their territory. Since then, 14 nations have ratified the treaty, including New Zealand, on the 31st of July this year. Along with many parliamentarians around the world, I have signed the parliamentary pledge, pledge for the prohibition of nuclear weapons. The abolition of nuclear weapons is a global public good of the highest order and is an essential step to promote the security and well-being of all people.